fellow wealth builders, this is TJ from tjtrue.com and I am here once again with another video and before we get into it, if you could like, hit the subscribe and hit the notification channel, I would be much appreciated trying to get some subs here. Um, today I wanted to talk to you about a little thing called shaming, um, career shaming to be exact. I was reading a post on Facebook, you know, wasting some time on Facebook, and I saw this post, and it was talking about how when you see someone who is a blue-collar worker, don't look at them and then tell your child to look at them and tell them, well, that look at this, make sure you stay in school, because we are teaching them to look down on blue-collar workers. But not only that, um, that actually brings me to a more important factor, which is that College education, very valuable, very, very valuable to those that it is valuable to and for the reasons that it is valuable for. But it is not a, it should not be looked at as something that you just do with no thought of how it's going to benefit you or what you're going to use it for. I'm a firm believer of always having a plan. Um, always putting your plan into motion. Every step you take should be working towards that plan. I was actually talking to a friend of mine about the idea of rational self-interest, which Miss Rand, thank you. Um, if you guys don't know who she is, she wrote The Fountainhead and she was a huge proponent of rational self-interest and it has, it has shaped my life is what I mean. Doing things that are for your betterment, not it's not just about being selfish, it's about doing things that are best for you, even the things that you want to do, as long as it's best for you. You know what I mean? And sometimes college is what's best for you. If you want to be a doctor, going to college and getting a degree is the only way to do that. That is true. If you want to become a lawyer, going to college and getting a degree is the only way to do that. That's what's best for you. But looking at college as the end-all be-all of education is actually what has contributed to the wage gap between blue collar workers and college educated employees as it is and as it stands in America right now. We have a ton of people who are very skilled at what they do. I, I work in blue collar work um, almost my entire adult life. Uh, not that I have not gone to college, I never graduated, I actually dropped out several times and every time I went to college, I, you know, I got straight A's because, you know, that's what I'm a teacher's pet. That's what I do. But honestly, it, other than the ego boost of knowing that I was there and feeling some sort of superiority complex for having been there, there was no other reason for me to be there. At no point in time was the education I was getting benefiting the moves that I was making on my, like, in my regular life not at all and so what i propose that we bring back is the love of education and self-education as a whole the 70 percent of the classes you take are a general education and that don't really benefit you in the way that they should obviously everyone should think of cr take critical thinking classes. That's most important courses that are so underappreciated and so necessary. It's, it's a skill that not a lot of people have, especially with the rise of misinformation on the internet. But we need to be thinking about self-education as a means to express ourselves and to get where we want to be. I don't need you to go to a four-year degree to tell me how you bake cookies or how you are able to do what it is you do. If you know how to do it and you can prove you know how to do it, that is awesome. I don't need a degree, a degree to tell me that, especially if I'm doing business with you, but, but I need you to be always learning. There should never be a time where you don't have um, either a group of books that you are reading in order to better your information or some trade publications that you are obsessed with getting the next issue of. Like, we need to be always looking for education, but not slaves of the structured education as it has been 
uh, shoved down our throats in America so far. And that is what I wanted to say. And I can't seem to stop this video. What's going on here? Okay, that is what I wanted to say.